Hey guys, it's Victoria from Capital Veg. Guess what? Tomorrow I am leaving on my four month trip to Europe. So I thought this was a great time to make a video as I'm packing my big bag. So I'm gonna be living out of this bag for uh, four months, maybe more. So I thought I'd make a video and show you some things that I'm bringing that are specifically for vegans who are traveling and even for raw vegans and kind of just like how I'm gonna deal with uh, airplane and airplane food and stuff like that. So, I guess we'll just get started with carry-on stuff. So, as well as this backpack, I'm going to have a carry-on backpack. And you can't bring fresh fruit with you when you're traveling internationally. So, I'm going Canada to the US, the US, and then to Europe. So, I have a big bag of dried figs. And I have some banana chips. And I made these myself in my dehydrator. They're sprinkled with organic cinnamon. If you've seen a lot of my videos, you'll know I'm not the biggest fan of dried fruit. But, of course, there's always circumstances as a backup where it is ideal. And I think traveling is a great example of a time that I'm willing to compromise, eat a little bit more dried fruit, drink tons of water, and know when I get there, there's going to be tons of fresh fruit. Um, another great thing that I'm bringing with me are these little chia shots, and I'll put some links to some of the products. Um, so they're just one little shot of chia seeds, and I'm bringing the box with me because while I'm traveling, um, I can sprinkle them if I'm not getting enough um, fat, so depending on what I'm eating. Uh, they're about five grams of fat for two of the shots, so they're still really low and they're really great. I love chia seeds, so that's a nice find. Um, I'll also be bringing some dates with me and I'm going to try to sneak in some apples and stuff, and that's all for food. So on the topic of food, another thing that I'm bringing with me, which I totally, totally love, is da, 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 my spork. <laughs> So indeed, it is a fork and a spoon. It's made out of organic bamboo, and it's just a little thing. So say when you're traveling and you're going to farmer's markets, if there's any kind of fruit that you want to eat, um, since I eat a lot of fruit, sometimes it can get messy, so you could just scoop out some mangoes, let's say. I guess those don't really grow in Europe, but uh, anything you're eating, you could probably use a spork. So I will have that probably all the time with me. Another option is something bigger, like this. So this is a, I guess, a spork and a knife. <laughs> so if you're just on the go, or maybe somewhere you're staying doesn't have uh, the most cleanly forks and knives, these are great to always have. Um, it also, it combines. So it's also a cooking tool. If you're staying in hostels, this can be really handy. So I'll probably bring both around with me, probably leave this one in my big bag and that one in my small bag. Another thing which is super important while you're traveling is staying hydrated, but a big water bottle can be bulky. So what I'm bringing with me is one of these um, bagged water bottles. So this is, this one is uh, recycled and organic materials and it's BPA free obviously. So you just fill the bag with water, and it becomes a water bottle, but when you're not, fold it up, throw it in your backpack, clip it on, do whatever you want. These are great. I have a big two liter one, and I have this one. So my third kind of uh, grouping of things that I'm bringing is like beauty products. And it's often really hard to find like travel sized uh, vegan stuff. You go to the drugstore, and it's all just you know, conventional stuff, and that's not what I'm used to putting on my body, so I'm not going to compromise while I'm traveling. So, what I got here is some, uh, it's vegan, it's the Green Beaver brand, and this is sunscreen. So this is biodegradable as well, which is great. I'm going to be spending time on some farms, probably showering outdoors and stuff, so biodegradable is really important to me. I also have just some more products to show you as an example. Here's some travel size. These are, um, they're from Toronto. I'll put the links for stuff. So these are 100% natural, 100% vegan, and they're shampoo and conditioner. 
I also have some little disinfectant, like a Purell kind of thing. These are all super great. They can be in my carry-on in case my luggage gets lost. They can be in your luggage. Doesn't really matter. Some other great stuff that I have. Um, your lips can get chapped super easy, especially if you're going to be in the sun. So I just have some coconut lip balm. It's basically just coconut oil, some essential oils mixed in there. I always like to start my trip with some fresh makeup, if makeup is something that you choose to wear. And this brand is uh, it's called Tarte, and it's cruelty free and it's vegan, so this is great. I recommend that. Um, these are just examples, I mean any brand is great, just something to think about before you go, and just a bar of soap, which can get very messy in your bag, so I recommend like a soap tin or something, I know Lush sells stuff like that. And my last favorite traveling thing for vegans is, I forget what they're called, it's, it's squishy and you can fill it with products yourself. So say I could put some of my Lush uh, shampoo if I was still using that. I think I'm going to bring apple cider vinegar in this one and then I have a separate one that I've already put some coconut oil in. So these are great since you don't want to compromise on your products but maybe it's too big or it doesn't fit in your bag or something. These are awesome. Another thing that's really important to me is fitness. And in a lot of my videos I talk about how important it is to stay fit and I guess an overall theme with this video is that you don't have to compromise when you're traveling. So I like to do exercise classes, I like to do aerobics videos and run and do some weightlifting, but when you're traveling, I mean, it's hard to travel with weights and stuff. So what I'm bringing with me is a medium resistance band. And there is so much you can do with this. Really, really great for um, just adding some more to body weight exercises. So I'm gonna bring this in my bag and I'll also be using some fitness blender videos and stuff like that. Last but not least, walking shoes. I'll, I'll keep these ones for after. It's really important to have um, walking shoes, especially when you're going to places like Europe where you're going to be walking all day for maybe 10 hours a day or whatever it is. Anyways, your feet are going to be a bit tired. I found it fairly hard to find um, good vegan walking shoes that I didn't have to order online. So what I went with I got the Toms, they're the Earthwise, so they're 100% recycled, and they're vegan, and I just got them in a, they're like a dark gray color. And then the other footwear I'm bringing with me, da da da, banana flip flops. <laughs> Are these not amazing? Okay, so I got these for the shower, I'm not actually going to wear them out of the house, but I totally would. So shower shoes, kind of gross. You should probably always wear them, especially if you're staying in places like hostels. So I'm bringing a lot more stuff, obviously, but those are the things that I thought I would share with you right now um, that have to do with vegan traveling. I'm leaving tomorrow, so my next video will be shot in Portugal, which is super exciting. So yeah, if you guys want to check out, um, I have a new blog that I'm going to start. I'll post the link below. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, you can write to me uh, through there so you can get in contact, say you live somewhere I'm going, or if you want to recommend a restaurant, or if you have a question about traveling, and I can answer it in videos, or I can do reviews of the restaurants, stuff like that. So I will see you soon, and I'll see you in a sunny place. Bye.